Okay, y'all, uh, we have a thrift haul, two different locations. Um, I'm just putting them together to get a video out there. Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here with, as I said, a thrift haul. I'm over here motioning to things that are in a bag on the floor beside me, like you can see it. And apparently it is staticky hair season and, and I must be their spokesperson because my hair is like, bang. Anyway, um, okay, first things first, let's do power hour. Um, there's a local thrift store and there, I, I posted or I made one power hour video that I'll link up above. Um, one side or the other. Anyway, um, and they, twice a week, they do power hour on Tuesdays from 4 to 5 and on Fridays from 10 to 11. And while I was off on my winter break from school, I'm a full-time teacher, um, if you couldn't guess from the name of the channel anyway <laughs> um I managed to go twice I went once on a Tuesday once on a Friday and I think I, I don't remember what day this was <laughs> I really don't I yeah no clue I think this might have been the Friday I don't remember anyway we're just gonna <laughs> which, which day it was all I know all I can tell you is this Every article of clothing that I'm going to show you from this haul was a dollar a piece. So that's, and that's the only thing they have at a dollar a piece. Every article of clothing, except kids clothes. Kids clothes is cheaper, but every article of clothing is a dollar a piece. So let's just get started. Oh, and pull these guys out. Got a pair of jeans. All right. So got a pair of jeans with a uh, like a slight flare. They're not exactly straight, but you know, they're, they got a slight flare to them. Um, faux, faux flip pockets. They look like flip pockets, but the pocket is actually right here. So they've got the faux flip. That's okay. Or flap, flap pockets. And they are silver jeans. So this is like the second time I have found silver. They're called the Suki Slim Boot. I think the Suki is a good one. I don't know. But anyway, they are a size 16 and length of a 31, which I think is fabulous. Okay, silver jeans. We have a dress. We have a dress. So we just have this black and white, kind of a skater dress. Um, or fit and flare. You can call this fit and flare because the top part is going to be fitted and the bottom part kind of flares out and it's got this cool design. This is almost quilted feeling. Um, don't know how else to describe it. The tag is all folded up right here and it is Lily, Lily, which I believe, don't quote me, is an anthropology brand made in the USA. Um, do I, is that, that can't be the size. That's just a little thing. Um, y'all know what I'm talking about. No, you don't. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We'll try not to make this video eight days long. Mm. Okay. I'm looking for an RN number. I'm looking for a size. Why would I pick this up? Um, not having any of that info. All right, no, it is not. This is not an anthropology RN number. So I, mm, I know this was sold through Stitch Fix. Mm, now I'm sitting here going, why did I get this? I feel like somebody put it in my cart and I wasn't looking. Ah, that could, could happen. All right. Um, we have this wonderful 
jacket, blazer, a fantastic blazer, and it is Kato, size 22. I, um, it's hard to find plus size blazers. This one is brown, great basic business color. I'm trying to remember what all was in here. I know this I got for myself. This is Croft and Barrow. It's a double XL and it's just a black dress. Black dress with some pockets on the, kind of on the hips. Um, but I, this felt like it would be feel good when the weather warms up, when it's spring. So I did get that for, for me. All right. What have I got now? I've got a little um, Ava and Viv sweater. Uh, hold on, let me grab the sleeve. So it is an open front sweater and you see the, the pattern on it. Open front cardigan. And I just, I thought it looked very cozy. I wonder, no, it is not. I was like, I was wondering if it was um reversible, but it is not. So Ava and Viv reversible sweater. I need to look at this really quick. I don't think this was part of it. So I'm putting it back over there. And I don't think this was part of it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. All right. I had a couple things in there that I was like, what? All right. Another blazer in purple. In purple. Beautiful purple. Uh, how many buttons? No buttons. A no button blazer. Apparently, one button blazer, from my understanding, is very in right now. This is a no button blazer, and it's silence and noise. And that is an anthropology brand. And I just checked the RN number. Um, what is it? 66170 is anthropology's RN. So, um, yeah. And it's just polyester rayon and spandex. So that makes it easy to care for. Always important. All right, we got a pair of camo jeans. They're a uh, size four democracy with ab technology. I have decent luck selling democracy. So these are skinny. Skinny is not in, but camo is in. So, and uh, people that wear democracy jeans really like the ab technology. So it's got this, do you see that panel? That panel that's supposed to hide your tummy. I would have a hard time believing that someone who's a size four has a tummy, but it's possible all bodies are shaped differently okay we got another pair olive green must have been the color of the day y'all oh i was so excited to find this because i've never found this brand okay so we just have a pair of a uh, like flat front almost chino type men's pants flat front um just some button pockets on the back i mean they they just looked and felt like basic pairs of a basic pair of pants. I'm gonna have to check a size chart because I don't know it. But these are John Varvados, and it says a size 50. But um, I, I know these aren't an actual 50. So um, anyway, John Varvados, I've never found it, and and that is a great great brand. So, very excited about that. Let's pull these out. Another brand. Have I found this yet? I can't remember if I have or not. Um, but, yeah, again, the color of the day. Oh, you do that. That's fancy. Green. Some green, more flat front pants. Chino style pants with pockets on the back. And I'll say Bonobos, but I'm probably saying it wrong. Maybe you say it Bonobos. I don't know. They're the Slim Straight 3132. So, and I, I love the inside fabric. 
look, look, it's even in the pockets. Like, the pockets has the bird fabric. I love that. Okay, so, John, I mean, not John Barbados, Bonobos. I don't think I have ever found Bonobos. Alrighty. And then we have more green. This is green and black, like a um, floral print. Very stretchy pants. And they zip down here. Zip. They're kind of a crop, but not like Capri crop. And they are beta brand, size medium, um, small, well, size medium, petite. So um, I know a lot of people are saying that beta brand doesn't move like it used to. And that's probably why I'm finding it everywhere now. And I never could find it before. And I feel like there's one shirt missing. But I don't know where it is. I don't know, you guys. Um, all right. And then this um, is a shirt called Well Worn. And I actually might send this to my son I will check comps but it um it's got a rainbow you know kind of stripe across the middle pocket and it is thin <laughs> it is very very thin and I think that's their that's what they're known for is clothes that literally look well worn so that was that was power hour I had another shirt I wonder if it's in the laundry. It might be, but I did find a shirt that I purchased on Nostalgia. And yeah, if in editing, if I find it, I'll pop it in. All right, so that was everything you saw there was a dollar piece. Now, the things I show you now, not a dollar piece. Some of them were full price, but I was um, super excited about some of these pieces. I went to, for some reason, I had to go to a, a town that, that's about a little city that's about 15 minutes away from me. I can't remember why I had to go. Anyway, um, they have a Goodwill there that's pretty big. And I was like, oh, I'll stop in that Goodwill and see what's what. And I ended up spending $28.50 at this Goodwill for the next items that you see. So uh, my goal was to get things that I thought would sell, you know, pretty decently high as far as high ASP. Um, and so I stuck to dresses and I, I looked at coats. I had a few in my cart. I put them back once I checked comps. So first dress, I did not, shh, don't do as I do as I say. Check comps. I did not check comps on this. This is a strapless floral dress, but it has the option to be strapped. It has straps that you can put on it. And it is Amanda Smith, size 16. Um, and it is new with tags. At some point, it retailed for $65. So, and it's got this beaded front um, and it's like another fit and flare where it flares out. And I thought that would be, that's great for summertime, maybe going on a cruise, something like that. This is a great dress for that. Another dress. We, we got three dresses in this one, y'all. Three dresses. Okay. All right, so this one is a one shoulder, very tropical looking dress. I guess it would make also a great beach cover up or something, but it is Tommy Bahama size medium. So I don't think that I've ever found a Tommy Bahama dress. And um, I figured I would pick this up. And I did comp these things and I was happy with what I saw in comps. So I went ahead and got them. I'm saving my potential favorite piece for last. So, um, loveys, they don't sell high, but 
usually the cost of goods is so low with loveys that you know you can afford to pick them up um and they're so easy to list like th this is this is a five minute at most once I, I i could probably photograph and list this in five minutes these two were hooked together so you've got this little one and it, it says little one and it's a little bunny rabbit i thought he would be cute coming easter time and then you've got a unicorn unicorn slash hippo i don't know i thought it looked like a hippo but it's unicorn but the cool thing about this is this this uh raised dot pat fabric is like minky fabric and it's got the satin trim the satin edge which a lot of parents look for so um they wanted $3.99 for both of these hooked together. I don't think blue was the color of the day. It was not. So, um, I think it was like purple and orange were colors. Um, but anyway, so $2 a piece and they'll probably sell for around 15 each. So, um, good with that. Let me see. Let me see. What color were you? All right, this was orange. I want to say, all right, orange was half off. Purple was 75% off. So what the Goodwills in my area, in my region do, and this one was orange also, the Amanda Smith. So both of these were $4 each. Um, Each one of these dresses was $4 each. So... Um, and in my head, like in my head, when I'm checking comps, um, I look at what am I going to spend on it? Can I sell it, sell it, not just price it, sell it for five times that price. So four times five, 20 bucks. And based on comps, I was like, yes, I could sell each one of these for at least $20. So that's what drove my decision to go ahead and purchase those. And I may end up, I might end up um, averaging at least the clothing out, not not the lovies. They don't, you know, their price is fine. Um, so my Goodwill has, or that the Goodwills in my area, they, you know, they have a color of the week that always starts on Monday. Our Goodwills are closed on Sunday color of the week starts on Monday. So let's say it's blue and they take the color from last week, last week's color of the week, and they mark it down to 75%. So color of the week, half off last week's color, 75% off. So they stopped pulling them. They were pulling the color of the week by like, it started on Monday and you'd see them Wednesday night or Thursday pulling all of those items to send them to the outlet. And um, now they're now they've changed up their method. I'm not sure why. I'm I'm sure there's some kind of reasoning. Maybe too much was going to the outlet. I don't know. So you know maybe the outlets were getting too full, and they had to rethink their strategies. So. I don't know, but I'm okay with it. You, you know, I found some purple stuff, but you could tell that the purple was really picked over and that what was left was like Walmart brands and things like that. So, and, and Shein, there was a lot of Shein left and things like that. All right, we got a pair of shoes, a little pair of flats. Look, I don't think they've ever been worn, you guys. I mean, these don't look like they've ever been worn and they are a women's 10 and they are Clark's. So, you know, I'm hesitant to list them as brand new because I don't have the box. If I had the box and I was 100% sure they'd never been worn, but I'll definitely put in the listing that, you know, these, I could put new without box. I really could. Um, and I may do that, but they're cute. They've got this little um, ropey detail on the front. So yeah, do like those. The PS de Resistance. My favorite thing that I found, and I was kind of, 
I'm still kind of uh, nervous about it. <laughs> it's this dress. Okay, Jen, why are you nervous about a dress? It's like a, a sheath dress. Sheath, yes, it's a sheath dress. So, with um, you know, little straps and this beautiful print. It's like a black and cream. It's mus Moschino. Do you say Moschino? Moschino? Maraschino? No. Um, anyway, it is a, a US 6. And then underneath is this folded tag that says Made in Italy. And it's got a interesting fold to it. Made in Italy. And I can't find anything like it online. Side zip. Side zip. It was full price, so it was eight twenty five. I I can find styles this of the same dress, you know, Moschino, but not this print. But apparently, um, this was a a popular style cut, whatever of this dress. I'm like trying to unzip it all the way. I had to get past the waistline. So yeah, it zips on the side. It is fully lined. And so it kind of got me nervous. I'm like, Ugh, is this brand faked? Y'all, if you, if you have experience with Moschino, let me know if this brand is faked because I see tags. I've only seen a few tags that look like this. Usually they have cheap and chic, which I know, or yeah, cheap and chic, which is the Moschino, a little bit of a more affordable middle-class line. And I see Mos Moschino Couture, um, which I would assume would be a high-end line. Um, so I, I don't know. So the next thing I did is I looked under here for the tag that usually gives an RN number and tells a little more info. Where did it go? It's somewhere in here. And is it up here? Hang on, y'all. Oh, it is up here. It's up here. And I looked for that. And hang on, did it have, what did it have? Oh, this is what I wanted to show you guys. So this is a um, FA is the company that distributes. I don't know if they make and distribute or distributes Moschino. So I found that tag. There was another smaller tag back here made out of like a rubber almost material, like a weird material, and it just disintegrated in my hands. I'm like, okay, that was weird. See, it's disintegrating now, the little remnants of it. I don't know what that tag was about. I never could read it as I touched it, and it went, it's like, oh, well, that's not good. So um, let me know if you have any, any experience with Moschino. This is, it says double lining, 50%, no, 60% acetate, 40% rayon. I never found an RN number. Um, it tells you to professionally dry clean it. So I don't know if, because they're made in Italy, if there is no RN number, have no idea. And I keep finding this four, five, three, one number that's on there. So I don't know. It's, I mean, this would be a dumb thing to fake, I think, but that's just me. So, like I said, all of that from that Goodwill cost me $28. I think I did okay. I, th I think it's real based on the inner tag and the the top tag, even though I don't see a lot with that on there. But that could be the big winner of the group. So let me know what you think. This is kind of like a everyday run of the mill haul, but I wanted to share it with you guys and I need to get to listen. So I hope things are going well for you guys. I appreciate you watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know anything about Moschino, let me know. If you know anything about anything I showed you, let me know. Um, go ahead and comment. Make make a comment down the bottom. If you haven't already subscribed to the video, I would or to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And until the next video, I'm gonna say 
à tout à l'heure. See you later.